Hello and welcome to another episode of Do Crafts TV. Today we're going to be joined by the lovely Becky James, who's going to show us how to create a hidden treasure box using Gorgeous. Hi Becky, Hi, welcome Katie. along. So what are we going to do today? Well today we're going to be making this little box which uh, is made from a six by six inch card. Mm, that's clever. And I've called it a little hidden treasures box because actually I love the idea of your crafts being sort of interactive and lots going on in there and little things that you maybe don't. So when you look and peek inside, there's lots of little things going on oh, that you can have a look good. at. Oh, yeah. So for whoever the recipient is, you're going to get to see. There's a little, oh, something going on in there's a little there. message and there's the little apple tree oh. and the clouds in the sky and that sort of thing. So wow. I'm going to show you how we're going to put this together. Fantastic. So we're going to start with this six by six inch card from the gorgeous um, printed card set. Splendid. And the first thing we're going to do is, I'll just move these to one side because we'll move on to that in a second. But I've actually marked three quarters of an inch in from each end and also from the spine. Okay. And we're going to score those lines. So you've basically got this, um, got it, so you've got a lot, almost like it's almost like a little book. That's really, like a book. Start, yeah. yeah. And I have um, just inked around the edges a little bit just to give it that oh, and sort on the of score depth. Line. Oh, I on see. You've sort lines. of folded it. Did you fold it in to ink it like that? Yes, oh, I've I got did. Yeah. Okay. And what I've done, if you can just see here, I've actually cut in from this edge to that edge, and then I'm going to just cut along the spine. So you're left with a front, and you can see I've already die cut an aperture. Oh, okay. So I've taken one of the little dies out of the extra large die set, and I've die cut that. So we're going to quickly just add a few couple of things on the outside. Okay. So I'm just going to get my little bit of scrap paper under here. And the first thing is, using the, the nesting, frame, nesting dies, I've created a frame. So you've so used the same size, size that one, for the middle. For the middle. And then one the next, next one up. up. Okay, yeah. got you. Now what I'm also going to do is on the back, I'm going to add a little panel so that you can actually put your message oh, I see. on there. Now, what I've done here, we're just doing a very basic, simple scene. So I've cut blue, the, that lovely aqua blue paper. Mm -hmm. um, to a size and it's just smaller and I'll make sure all the sizes go for you onto the instructions but it's just smaller than this inside here of the card so okay. it's going to be just smaller so that when we fold it all up nothing's sort of stopping it folding oh, flat okay, and that sort good. of thing and I've used the one of the green sheet the green sheets of paper to create a little that's sort of lovely isn't it because yeah. it doesn't have to be just plain for grass does no it? It absolutely really be a pattern. not and uh, I've used the little clouds from the kinetic die set with oh, the plane the airplane the, one yeah. yeah so those for our clouds and then i've created the tree and the tree is just basically i've cut a um a freehand trunk and the little top is actually one of inside the uh, gorgeous packs there are all those lovely toppers so i've taken one of those yeah, and, and that's something you get in all the gorgeous um packaging is added sort of toppers and tags that's and it. all those other bits and pieces that you can just snip out of the packaging and use those that, as well there's, there's loads in there the, yeah um, images i really and, like actually how you've inked one half of, of the cloud that makes them properly like 3d yes. isn't it? that's really clever it, it gives you it's sort of you envisage where the light is coming yeah from. that's really clever i didn't wouldn't have thought of that so i've actually taken then it's that little blue girl oh yeah and um because we're not going to see her legs I haven't I'm not using the, the one with the leg because we're going to cover that up with another layer of grass okay. which you'll see later but I've put oh because um, she's sort of behind the, she's yeah, behind, she's the, behind yes. the layer oh yeah. I got you yeah and what I'm just going to do is I've also got a piece of um I've cut this longer than it needs to be but a piece of jewels capsule jewels baker's mm -hmm. twine that tones in lovely doesn't I, it, it? it it was absolute perfect match so I'm just going to put a little blob of glue behind her now I know where she she is and I'm going to attach one side of that just under there we're going to let that set and then I'm going to leave that loose and work on the rest of it I've got a pit, another piece of pattern paper and That's what beautiful. I've, I've chosen different patterns because that sort of gives they're slightly different shades that kind of gives the um, the, the feel of the depth and also makes the different layers stand out yeah. from each other not blend into each other so this one I've cut uh, just so that it slightly overlaps our first character. Yeah, you can see, you can't see yeah. her feet, can you? You can't see her feet, there you go, you see. So I'm putting a few bits of uh, 
tr um, gorgeous trim and ribbon here. And then we're going to add our next character, which is Little Red. And again, I've already got some foam on her. And I've put a little message for the put a recipient to find. So I've put high on here, but it can be whatever you want it to be. Again, I'm using those lovely um, Madame Payro alphabet stickers that just go with everything. Yeah. So I'm just with a little this. bit of ink, it makes them sort of tie in with yes. the vintagey feel, doesn't That's it? That's it. And then we've got, there's two on, the, on this sheet here. Actually, I can show you. There's these two little fox little characters. Foxes. They're really sweet. Aww. So they are going to go on here as if they're looking down at the, up and down at the message. So we're just going to glue those on. There we go. Just pop that Very in the nice. centre. And there you go. So you can see that it, now that you can see where the sides yeah, of the box are going that, to come around. Yeah, you can see that really benefited from being a little bit smaller, didn't it? Yeah. So let's move that away. And I'm just going to get the front out again. Lovely. And I've got a little bit of grass, and this is going to give a sort of a more close-up view. And I've just got a little bit of grass. We're going to put at the front so that it just oh, pokes through. Oh, yeah, that's through. good. That You've just freehand cut yeah, that one of you. Literally freehand cut. And this is where I start building it. So you just glue the literally glue the sides together. So that's Fantastic. our little that's our like our little box. Really, that's the basis of it. Yeah. Very great. easy to put together. Right, so I'm going to put the roof on next. And the roof is actually made with one of the cards hey. from the front from the um, ultimate card kit. And what I've done is I've scored about a centimeter in and then about an inch in mm -hmm. there. But I will make again. I'll make sure all those uh, measurements are on there for you. And we're going to just put some glue here. I've just put glue dots on there and I'm going to just pop that on the back so that it, it's lined up with the top of the back panel. Oh, I see. And then to glue this bit here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm going to just add a run of glue along there, pop that down and that will set in place. Oh, I see. I've got a, love, a little strip here. Is that um, out of one of these? This oh, is actually off. from the, this is actually, again, from what, the inside of one of the paper packs. Oh, is it? So, oh, brilliant. So there's lots and lots of borders in there as well that you can choose, but this one fits perfectly along here. And though I'm not going to do it now because it's purely for time, you'll see on the original project, this is where I've actually put the, the little um, phrase on there, the let's go fly a kite. That's lovely, the so, little gems in between yeah. as well. So the the pack of gorgeous trims has these three lovely um, rib, these sort of three ribbons and pom poms and things like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to layer these up. It's all about layering, isn't it? It Making is. It, so, uh, it is. Sort of mixing all the different media and different textures, yeah. and it just makes it really special, doesn't it? It does. So next thing I've got, I've got the little foxy girl. I don't know what her name is. I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember her. <laughs> so, um, but we're going to put her on in in the corner there, and I'm going to pop a one of the. I love the colour of these oh, ribbons. That's that's it's teal, kind of got a it? damask print to it as well. It's so beautiful. So we're just going to pop that to the side there, and these are the gorgeous. Um, bottle tops. They're fab, aren't they? they are. I really like those. I do. They're really, really beautiful. Comes with a monster. They comes with a, <laughs> yes, exactly. It's going <laughs> really, really, really <laughs> thick. And then finally, we've got my little kite. And where I want to show you the kite is, is on this packet. And here, they are actually four little photo corners for you to cut out and use. Oh. But they're arranged in, in that sort of diamond shape. I see. So, they actually make this little kite shape. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Uh, just with one of the hearts, which is one of the die cut elements, one of the um, gorgeous ribbon bows, and another one of the little um, fantastic one of the little die cut shapes as it really well. Really pays to have a really careful look at these things, it doesn't it? Because it's not just what they look like in the first no, instance; it's the sort of hidden. And it's not just the dies either. 
the die cut bits either because there is so much there are so many little elements which aren't yeah. die cut but that you can really cut into yeah. and, and utilize within your project. So you just popped it on there. So we just on popped top of the it string. on there, yep, on top of the string. And then I've got one final little touch and that's to go on the top so that it, we've got this sort of little uh, oh, embellishment it. on the top. Now that's one of the smaller of the bare basics um, rib, um, reels. And I've popped a bit of the, the Jules twine round that I used for the kite Lovely. and a little gem over the top. That's really special. Wow, thank you so much That's for coming okay. and showing us that. That's okay. I can't wait to, uh, to take that one home. <laughs> <laughs> um, as we said earlier, we will put all of Becky's instructions and her list of everything she's used, all the different decoupage sheets and, pack and uh, card packs and so on that she's used on docrafts.com for you to take a look at in your own time. Um, we'll also put, as we said, loads of close-up photographs so you can see all the little details going on inside. We don't want you to miss a thing. Um, we'd also like to see what you've been making. If you're a big fan of Gorgeous, maybe make us something using that range and upload it to docrafts.com and Becky and I will come over and take a little look and perhaps leave you a comment. Um, we also might even feature it on a future episode of Docrafts TV or even in Creativity magazine. Until next time, happy crafting.